Hello Squirrels and welcome back to PPM6 TV. Today it's a return to high quality German microphones and uh, we've got two by Microtech Gefell in the stand. We've got the brand new wide cardioid, the M330 and the M320, the Omni. Now uh, there's a little bit of a difference between these mics which is that three of the M300 range feature a ceramic construction in the capsule which makes them uh, much less temperature va temperature variant is what I'm trying to say. Um, in other words the change in temperature will not um, uh, increase and decrease the size of the capsule so much and therefore the capsule tension will remain constant and we generally think that's a good thing although in Great Britain the temperature never really varies much from fairly miserable to be honest. Um, having said that the Omni the M320 is the one that doesn't feature uh, a ceramic capsule. Why is that? I have no idea. If somebody does know please get in touch. Now, when I uh, first talked to uh, John Willett, who's the UK distributor, and thanks John from Soundlink for lending us uh, the mics for the videos, um, I, I said, who would be interested in a wide cardioid? And uh, his take on it is that people who like the sound of an Omni, and remember an Omni is, is a pure microphone form, an Omni and figure eights being the two uh, either ends of the pure microphone scales and everything else being a hybrid. If you were at the, the kind of the, the end of it that you really liked Omnis, but you just wanted something a little bit tighter, something a little bit more directional, then this might be a great step for you um, to add to your collection, uh, an M or a pair maybe of M uh, 330s rather than people who have got uh, cardioids um, wanting something a little bit uh, wider. Although there are many situations where uh, you might prefer uh, the more forgiving aspect of a wide cardioid over a, a traditional uh, cardioid microphone. Anyway, um, I don't know which side of that, that fence you're on, and um, uh, but, but you know, you've know you got a choice now. Uh, the other technical uh, innovation, or at least one of the other technical innovations in these microphones, is that the um, Phantom Power um, drives an LED that goes, you know, generates vote, photovoltaic voltage, I guess, um, rather than making a direct connection from the, the, the Phantom Power to uh, the, the amplifier in the, in the, um, in the, in the, in the microphone. And um, one interesting side effect of that is uh, when you plug it in, you don't get instant on. You, there's a couple of seconds before the microphone, the phantom power kind of kicks in because the, the, the LED has to fire up and the, uh, the photons have to make their weary journey um, and all that sort of stuff. So if you, you first plug it in and, and, and don't expect it to, to work instantly, it is only a couple of seconds. But um, again, it's, a, it's an example of the um, innovation of um, a Gefell because what they're doing of course is decoupling the amplifier in their um, in their microphones from any dirtiness in the um, in the power supply of your phantom power of course your phantom power and mine are I'm sure as clean as a whistle so uh, let's get stuck into the uh, the differences between the mics and, and we'll we'll do that mainly in terms of um, uh, going around and having a listening to off-axis, as it were. Of course, if you're an Omni mic, you shouldn't have an axis. And one aspect of Omnis is they don't suffer the problems of bass tip-up on the proximity effect to the degree that uh, hybrid and uh, figure of eight microphones do. So you can use them a little bit closer. I'm not very, very close to these. I don't know what, 10 inches maybe uh, in old money. Um, uh, but it's worth bearing in mind, and I would expect that maybe the uh, the wide cardioid would share a little bit of that because it is down closer to the Omni end of the scale, um, while the pure Omni, the 320, would be most resistant to that effect. Again, something to bear in mind. So let's get round to 90 degrees and have a listen. And having moved the mics round, here we are at 90 degrees to the capsules. You can probably see that the... Um, M M330 has the access ports, has the vented ports in the side, whereas the M320 doesn't. The Omni doesn't allow any of the sound pressure waves um, to get round onto the back of the capsule, and so it's a pure uh, pressure microphone. I would think, I'm, I'm guessing here, I would think that they would have a re reasonably close at, at this 90 degrees. I should say um, the Omni, uh, the 320, is a good bit louder. I don't have the, the, the specs of the M330. They're not on the uh, website yet. But the Omni is a good bit louder. Um, maybe 6 dB or so. I think I've got extra. So there's an RME mixed to see behind me, um, which is providing the oomph. 
and uh, the, the 320 needs a little bit less oomph than the 330. So on, round the clock face we go to uh, 135 degrees. I'd say this was about uh, 135 degrees. Now I'm not changing the gain at all on the mic amp, so this is as it is. Now of course there's a slight complexity in that the mics are physically further, or the capsules are physically further away from me, so there will be a, uh, an attenuation due to increased distance, but I'm not uh, changing the gain. Um, and I'm sorry for that in a way, but I'm not sorry another way, because this is actually what it will sound like if you set it up in the studio and you've got audio coming from there and from there, you'll get, um, uh, you know, you'll get a good idea of how much extra gain you might need um, if you did, in fact, want to record something this far off axis, which on the 330, I, I don't think you would. Um, anyway, um, enough of that. Let's get round to 180 right behind the capsules. And so now with the microphones pointing right away from me, I'm at 180 degrees. Now, you, this is a, this is where the null is, um, or I'm not sure it's going to be a null, is it, on a wide cardioid? It, it'll be attenuated. Um, whereas uh, on the M320, um, the, the, the Omni, and uh, of course, Omni patterns are, are not always perfectly spherical. I remember um, in my training days, uh, one of our um, one of our lecturers um, encouraging us to try coincident Omni mics. <laughs> Which is crazy at first, but because the Omnis have got slightly different, slightly flatter or, or, or po even pointy, or slightly pointy spheres, then you can actually get stereo effects with coincident Omnis by um, uh, addressing different uh, aspects of the polar diagram. I don't think anybody's doing that, but hey, you may have a, you may have 10 minutes of your own time in a studio and not much else to fill it with. There's something to try. And so back around the front, and um, I really am quite close to these now. Um, probably about seven inches and uh, I just thought I would do that as just a bit of fun really in order to um, get that little bit closer see if we can detect a difference in character between uh, presumably the bait the base tip up the proximity effect that will that will kick in with the uh, m330 but should be absent from the m320 um, do uh, uh, drop by again it's been lovely to have you with us do subscribe too because it does help bye for now